Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive have received insane amounts of hate over the past few months. And in this video, I'm not going to be discussing whether I think that's justified or not. I've already made a separate video specifically for that. Instead, we're going to be talking about why Rockstar and Take-Two are quite possibly the smartest publisher and developers in the world. Specifically with the way they've handled both Grand Theft Auto Online and the ever-looming Grand Theft Auto 6. Before we get into the video though, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, consider subscribing for more stuff like this. We're almost at 300,000 subscribers and there's going to be a massive amount of GTA Online content coming at the end of the year, so you're not going to want to miss out. That's all going to be here on this channel. To completely understand the hidden genius behind Rockstar's tactics, we first need to look at how they've continued to earn money through GTA Online and continue to keep a somewhat strong community in a game that's received minimal updates in its seven year lifespan. It's not common that any series goes seven years between game releases. And when you look at the most recent live service game models, like of course Fortnite, Warzone, Overwatch, Destiny. These are games that require and receive updates either weekly, monthly, or quarterly for the most part. So no matter what, you'll see at least three to four major updates per year with some games updating 52 times a year with weekly updates. If they don't do this, their game will die. That's, that's pretty common knowledge. GTA on the other hand only receives one, let's be real, a medium sized update per year. Like looking back to last year, we got a casino and a casino heist. Really, that's just one building. There isn't that much to it. Yet despite that, player counts show that 2020 was one of the best years ever for the game with recurring revenue hitting new highs as well. So the question we've got to ask is how do they keep getting away with this? What makes Grand Theft Auto Online different? How does the game stay alive when it seems like the developers barely pay any attention to it? The answer is really simple and I can answer it in one sentence. There's no competition. It may seem like Grand Theft Auto has a lot of competition, but when you actually look at how the game operates, still to this day in 2020, it's unbelievable, but there's no game like Grand Theft Auto Online. There is no other modern day game set in an open world that allows players to connect with others and essentially build themselves a virtual second life. Although the game's seven years old, there is still no other game that comes close to it in this aspect. On top of being able to buy houses, apartments, businesses, complete heists, create and compete in completely custom matches and races, buy cars, helicopters, planes, military vehicles. The sheer scope of what this game allows you to do is underrated and completely unmatched. While other games corner themselves into one niche, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but whether it's competitive multiplayer, battle royale, RPG elements, Grand Theft Auto says, screw that, I'm dipping my hand in all of them. Depending on how you feel on the day, you can fight against other players, fight alongside other players in things like heists, race against other players, or you can settle down and grind the PvE aspect of the game by yourself or with friends. It's essentially multiple games rolled into one. No other game does this. No other game even comes close, to be honest. Which means when kids get to a certain age where their parents allow them to buy a more adult sort of game, Grand Theft Auto Online will always be the first or one of the first choices. The complete lack of competition in this genre of games has meant that Grand Theft Auto Online is able to have a complete monopoly on the market. Which means they don't even really need to update their games. They can just continue to sit at the top raking in all of the new players and all of the money. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Rockstar shouldn't update their game more often. I absolutely think they should, and I absolutely think it would make the game much, much better. But when the money continues to roll in at such a high rate without them even having to lift a finger, there's really not that much incentive to do it. Looking ahead to the next few years of GTA Online, the game is receiving another update at the end of this year, which of course is going to spike the player count back up for a bit. Following that, it's getting re-released on the next-gen consoles in 2021, which I think everyone is really sleeping on. This re-release is going to be absolutely huge, because what people don't really realize is there won't be that many games on the next-gen consoles in the first year. So Grand Theft Auto Online will have a huge opportunity to bring a bunch of players back in and a bunch of new players as well. While we all like to joke that this game is dying, make no mistake, there's a really good chance that Grand Theft Auto Online could beat the records it set this year, next year in 2021. The game will be very healthy going forward. It's really a just, it's just a genius play by Rockstar and Take-Two. 
Let's talk about Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, every single social media post Rockstar makes is followed by a thousand comments of people asking for Grand Theft Auto 6. This is the game that every gamer in the world wants. Ranging from people in the Call of Duty community, ranging to the Fortnite community, even people in the esports community are waiting for this game to come out. Absolutely everyone will be playing this game when it eventually does come out, and Rockstar knows this. So if they know that, then why haven't they at least announced it? There's actually a really interesting answer to that. The reality is, at this stage, GTA 6 most likely won't be released until at least 2023. That's because we know GTA 5 is coming to next-gen consoles in 2021, so I can't really see Rockstar releasing GTA 6 within a year or two of re-releasing GTA 5. But why haven't they at least announced announced it. At least tell us it'll be out in 2023 or whenever it's gonna be out. At least tell us it's in development. Give the people what they want. That's the consumer's perspective. However, from Rockstar's perspective, there's no need. They know they essentially have the entire gaming world on their knees, at their mercy, begging for GTA 6. But if Rockstar were to actually announce it, it could potentially have huge negative effects for the current state of GTA Online. Think about it, if Rockstar announced GTA 6 tomorrow, would you be more or less inclined to buy a shark card? Personally, I wouldn't want to buy a shark card. I would think, well, GTA 6 is coming out soon. I know, I'm just going to lose all of this stuff anyway, so I don't really want to invest any money into this game. In fact, why would I even play this game? I'm going to take a break until Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out. That's what a huge number of people would do. And these are undoubtedly some of the conversations that are already going on behind the scenes at Rockstar and Take Two. So yeah, man, I mean, look, I, I know a lot of people who watch my videos are in school, so I'm just gonna put this in a way that'd make a bit more sense. If you've got to complete one assignment every semester at school, but you're allowed to just hand in the same assignment every single semester and still get a good grade, why would you redo your assignment? Why would you put in all of the work to redo your assignment or create a new assignment when you can just hand in the old one and get the same result. Essentially, that's what's happening here, just at a much larger scale. What makes this even more genius on the part of Rockstar and Take-Two is I think you would honestly be a fool to think that they're not working on Grand Theft Auto 6. But by not announcing it, they get a lot more attention and a lot more hate as well. And I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, any publicity is good publicity. But even by people hating on Rockstar for not releasing Grand Theft Auto 6, those exact same players are the same ones that are coming back and feeding them money through shark cards in Grand Theft Auto Online every single week. Let's be real, they are working on Grand Theft Auto 6, they just have absolutely no need to announce it yet. And by re-releasing Grand Theft Auto 5 on next-gen consoles, which was absolutely a slam dunk, easy choice for Rockstar Games, they're allowed to spend even more time working on Grand Theft Auto 6 and hopefully, hopefully making it a much better game. Looking back over the past couple of years, I really think it's been a massive missed opportunity for a lot of game developers out there. There have been so many players crying out for Grand Theft Auto 6 for so long, and I do think we actually are going to get it soon. Which means that there's a lot of game developers out there who've missed their opportunity to sort of jump into this sort of genre. You know, this year, or maybe two or three years ago, would have been the perfect time for a new Watch Dogs game to release that really gave this online open world sort of virtual life thing a crack. And that goes for games like Saints Row as well. While Grand Theft Auto always might be the best sort of game in this genre, there is absolutely room for other people to try and create games like this. And I really think they absolutely should. Think about it. If other games took this genre seriously, that would push Rockstar Games to be even better. But right now, because there is no competition, like I said earlier in the video, there's just, there's no need for them to even really push themselves. So to any other game developers, if you've made it this far, which you probably haven't, give it a go, man. I mean, there's room. I would absolutely support your game if you did try to make an open world RPG multiplayer, sort of everything in one type of game. But alas, I think I'm just sort of rambling at this point. So we'll wrap it up there. If you guys enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Big things coming at the end of the year. Hope you stand safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Poise!